Is your iPhone stuck on the Apple logo? It keeps showing the Apple logo but won't turn on? Don't panic. This issue is often caused by simple software glitches. And the good news is, you can usually fix it yourself. In today's video, I'll walk you through three simple yet effective methods to get your iPhone back up and running. Let's jump right in. Method 1. Charge and force reboot your iPhone. First, charge your iPhone for at least 30 minutes. Sometimes, a low battery can cause this issue. After charging, force reboot your iPhone. To do this, first press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. And finally press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo again. This clears temporary glitches and may fix the issue. Method 2. Fix iPhone stuck on Apple logo using iTunes. First, connect your iPhone to your computer using a USB cable. Then, boot your iPhone into recovery mode. To do this, first press and quickly release the volume up button. Then press and quickly release the volume down button. And finally press and hold the side button until the recovery mode appears. Then open iTunes on the computer. iTunes will automatically detect your iPhone and ask if you want to update or restore it. Choose Update. Click Update again to confirm that you want to continue. If an agreement pops up, click Agree. iTunes will automatically reinstall the latest version of iOS on your iPhone. The update is complete. Your iPhone should restart and work normally. Method 3. Fix iPhone stuck on Apple logo with iSumsoft iOS Refixer. If none of the previous methods work, consider this method. First, you will likewise need to connect your iPhone to your computer. and boot it into recovery mode. Then download and install iSumsoft iOS Refixer on your computer. This is a powerful iOS repair tool that helps you fix all kinds of iOS problems without losing any data, including iPhone stuck on Apple logo. You can download the software by clicking the link in the description below. Then launch the software. Choose the system repair option. Select standard mode. Click start to proceed. Click Next. The software will automatically detect your iPhone. Click Download to download the firmware needed to fix your iPhone. Click Repair to begin repairing your iPhone. The repair was successful. Your iPhone will restart normally and work without any problems. And that's it. If this video helped you, don't forget give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more iPhone tips and tricks. See you in the next video.